How's it going guys? Welcome back to Shotgun Haven, and even though today's topic isn't just going to be shotgun focus, it will be using shotgun gameplay and all that good stuff, but what I wanted to do was go over the new attachments for the guns in Cold War, the flashlights. Well, not just flashlights, but lights and pointers and stuff like that. In the body category, for every weapon in the game, besides maybe launchers, guns can equip either the mounted flashlight, the SOF target designator, the Tiger Team spotlight, or the Ember sighting point. But what do these all do? Well, they deal with what the game calls reveal distance. What this entails is that if an enemy is within your sights in a cone of maybe around a 60 degree angle, a small red dot will appear over their head. What's cool is that works even if they aren't directly in front of you. So if you storm into a room and someone is kind of sitting there, the little red dot will show up above their head as long as they are in the range of that attachment and they are in that 60 degree cone. What we're gonna do is look at each one of these attachments and see kind of what they do as a whole. This video won't be super long, but I think it'll be useful to go over since these are pretty new attachments, and I'm pretty sure some of you are wondering if they'll work like the strobe light in Black Ops 4, which, heads up, they don't. So let's go ahead and check out how they work. First off, the basic mounted flashlight, which basically has no negatives to it. Now right off the bat, you're probably wondering if these even help you see in the dark, and well, they kind of do, but not really well. They seem to have a distance of about four 4.5 meters where they light up the area you're shining them in but past that initial 4.5 meters it just disappears and there's no extra light. Personally I'd like to see them have a much longer distance than that because it would be pretty cool to use on people who love to sit in dark corners and just wait for you but even then you'll still probably die to them since they'll be using an M16 or an MP5 like 95.9% .9 of the people playing this game. So the flashlight has a reveal distance bonus of 20%. This basically translates to a reveal distance of 20 meters. For every gun in the game, reveal distance is set at zero by default. So when you see a percentage increase in the description of the attachment, just think of it as meters and not necessarily a percentage if that helps make it easier. What this basically means for the flashlight is you get a 20 meter distance where as long as the enemy is in your little vision cone that we talked about earlier, they will have that little red dot appear. This works pretty well in a lot of cases and on some maps like Cartel with all the bushes, it can be a godsend. Visibility in this game is kind of rough, so these kind of attachments do help with that, but since I use a shotgun, I always end up running a laser sight instead, but this is preference. What about aim assist? Now, I wanted to test this just because I, I had a feeling maybe something would change, but it doesn't seem to be. I wanted to see if maybe there was a secret way it functioned or maybe it like helped sticky aim or something, but no, it doesn't, thankfully. It doesn't function like the strobe light in Black Ops 4 either, where it disables aim assist for other players. It really has no potential either to even slightly disorient the enemy if you see it from the front and look directly into the light beam it doesn't even phase you like it's really not noticeable at all even if someone's sitting in a corner with that attachment you can't really see it out of the corner of your eye it's really subtle and you can see it but it's not a major distraction like the strobe light was so it seems like what we see here with these is what we get but that's not all necessarily true there's actually something that's not really explicitly stated in the stats or description in long lines of sight these attachments can be amazing. Not only does the red dot appear above the enemy's heads at closer ranges in that reveal distance, but one of the more important things to talk about as well is that all of these reveal distance increasing attachments will boost your ability to even see the enemy's nameplate and health bar at crazy distances. And that's with every one of these attachments. What I mean by that is that a base Keurig assault rifle, for example, will at some point in distance lose visibility of enemy health and their name. With any of the flashlight attachments, even the most basic one with no downside Sides, it will reveal their name and health at basically any distance. There's probably a cutoff point to that distance, but it's pretty much non-existent on 6v6 maps. And the cool thing is that you don't even have to be aiming down sights. If you have a flashlight equipped, just the basic flashlight, just scanning the map while hip firing will reveal the enemy's location. The distance is pretty much the same for all the attachments from what I can tell, it's really really far. The only difference is the distance where that red dot will show up above their head. That is the reveal distance, but all of them will reveal enemy information like name and health and virtually any range and whether you were aimed down sights or hit firing. This is especially nice on Cartel. So let's check out Cartel real quick just to demonstrate. The enemy is in distance and you can see the health bar is still showing while I have my basic hit fire reticle on them, but at about 25 meters back it just kind of disappears. 
although it still does show when you aim down sights. Now with a flashlight on, any of them, you can see that distance just keeps going and going. And then when you get close enough, that red dot will appear above their head. And again, that red dot distance is the major difference between all of these attachments. So yes, they do all have slight variations. For the basic one, it's about 20 meters. This makes it an awesome attachment for trying to find out where players are and if they're head glitching somewhere. This can really help you nail their location a little bit better, even if their head is just kind of slightly exposed. Now, the target designator says only when aiming down sights. What this means is that that red dot won't appear unless you are aiming down sights. Remember that little 60 degree cone we're talking about? And then you have to be aiming down sights for that red dot to show up. You still get the benefit of having that insane scanning range as well with all the other attachments. So at the end of the day, with the bad visibility in this game on some maps, these attachments can really help you out. As a shotgun guy, they don't really work that well for me, I gotta be honest, they just kinda don't. But as a sniper or an AR player, you can really get some good help with these things equipped. They have a good purpose and they function very well from what I've been seeing, so I definitely recommend at least trying them if you find yourself struggling to see people on certain maps. <coughs> <coughs> Cartel. Ugh. And that is just about going to do it for this video, guys. Now, it's a little different, but I like going over perks and attachments and things like that thoroughly because I find that stuff interesting and it's always been good to know. Plus, it's more content for myself and you guys as well. So what do you think of the flashlights? Are they good? Are they bad? Are they just kind of weird? Remember to subscribe for more Cold War and Modern Warfare guides and shotgun stuff, of course. And with all that being said and out of the way, I want to wish you all a happy day slash night and I will see you in the next video.